Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to share with you the 6 reasons why I use Vim. I've been an avid Vim user for quite some time now. In fact, I liked it so much that I even created an online game to teach it, called Vim Adventures. In Vim Adventures, you playing a cursor set out to save Textland from the evil bugs. By fixing the text the bugs corrupted, you learn Vim while playing a game and manage to save the world. So, the first reason I use Vim is it's crazy efficient. Vim was built to have maximum editing power for minimal input. That means you have to type way less in order to achieve stuff. No more reaching for the mouse or moving the cursor one character at a time. I use text objects, counts, macros, registers. It's like talking to your editor and getting things done. Which brings me to reason number two. It's immersive. When your editor doesn't get in the way, it makes you focused. You're immersed in the task at hand, it's easier to concentrate and achieve a state of flow. And it's not only the efficiency and precision that helps with the immersion, it's also visually. By default, Vim shows you only the file you edit. Unless you tweak it, there is no additional panes, tabs, windows, directory trees, to-do list, a debugger, etc. There isn't even a menu bar. It's you and the code. No distractions. The third reason I use Vim is that it runs in the terminal, or more precisely, on the shell or command line. The lack of fancy GUI makes it amazing when running on servers which you connect to via SSH. You want to make a quick change on the production server without deploying a new version? SSH in and use Vim. It's also installed by default on almost every Linux distribution under the sun. Personally, this allowed me to move my entire development environment to the cloud. I connect to my development server via SSH and everything runs there. I don't even need a powerful laptop. A Chromebook from a few years back can handle that easily. And I can connect to the development server from any machine. The fourth reason I use Vim is that it's fast. And by that, I mean it's fast to load. In this example, I've opened 1.3 GB text file filled with ROM Ipsum text. I tested Vim versus VS Code. Check out the results. Vim was done in less than 4 seconds. VS Code is still going. True, most files aren't that big, but it's only text, no syntax parsing and IntelliSense stuff going on, so I don't expect my editor to work that hard. And it's done. Almost 10 times slower. The fifth reason I use Vim is that it's healthy. Ergonomics, good wrist position, keyboards, posture, and preventing repetitive strain injury, RSI, are a vast and important topic. However, the less keystrokes you make, the less you use the mouse, the less weird control shift meta key combinations you twist your hands into, the smaller your chances of RSI. So in my book, that makes Vim healthier than the alternatives. The sixth reason I use Vim is that it keeps on surprising, even after using it for some time, you'll discover new tricks, new ways of working, and things to improve your workflow. Each time you find something like this, you'll wonder how did you get along without it. Vim just gets better with time. Those were the six reasons why I use Vim. Do you use Vim for different reasons? Share your reasons in the comment below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. If you want to learn Vim, check out Vim Adventures. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.